This is a demonstration of the C-802 cruise missile for the JF-17. Fire up a stock anti-ship mission. And we are going to employ the anti-ship C-802 AK and DIR mode direct. This will make the missile fly to the waypoint and that we have selected. We see from the F10 menu, the waypoint is not quite aligned with the target. So we're going to just go ahead and set the autopilot to hold altitude and record the coordinates down on the notepad. Enter the new coordinates into the UFC. Now the waypoint has been corrected. Head to the SMS page and we see a bunch of options. The only thing you should really care about is whether the missile flies high, medium, or low. Theoretically, it is better to have the missile skim the sea during flight, so uh, set it to low. If we were to fire it right now, it will fly straight to waypoint 1 and hit the ship. But I want the missile to fly to a waypoint before it does so. So there's many reasons why you would want to do this. You want to fly around friendly forces, enemy SAMs, or attack the ship at a certain angle, for example. There are six waypoints that are readable by the C-802 type missiles. Waypoints 30 to 36. I noted down some coordinates in the middle of nowhere, and I put the coordinates into waypoint 30. On the control page, we see the missile has coordinates pointing to this B, which is waypoint 1, and on the TP, turning point, just click to set it. You can go fire it here. And on to COO mode, or coordinate mode. It is very similar to DIR, but except you must manually enter the coordinates into the computer. We want to have the missile fly to waypoint 1, so enter in the coordinates on the notepad, or the UFC in this case. can set the missile to fly to the turning point, but we do not want to do that in this case. As you see, the first missile will fly to the turning point and the other will not, but they both end up at the same place because they're both targeting the same coordinate. And we'll just notch this missile real quick so we can get a look. Now on to line of sight mode. This is much easier to toy with. The minimum altitude is 1600 feet, and you cannot deploy the missile at a speed greater than the missile is designed to fly at, which is Mach 0.9. Let's go take a look at the C802 AK. This time I'll create a waypoint on waypoint number 4, write down the coordinates from the place that we want to have the missile fly to on the notepad, and we'll just uh, set a heading on the FPA. Just uh, type in the waypoints, uh, type in the coordinates, 
and set the heading to the waypoint number 4 on the FPA. Our target is 40 on our speed, which is waypoint 4, because we have set a heading to it. Select CM8 for CM802, and you can go ahead and set the cruise height, but this time we are attacking a surface target over some mountains. There is an altitude limit that you should be aware of, and that is 24,600 feet. Select the data link pod, DL pod. There are two channels where our missiles will fly on. And then, then we're going to go gain some altitude so we can prevent terrain masking from cutting off our communications with the missiles. The missile is online now and it is quite easy to find the airport. But using the cursor might take some time getting used to. Guide both missiles by switching the channels and guiding them. And our missile is offline due to the mountains blocking the data link. But our number two is still here, so we're going to point that at the target before that one goes offline too. 